In this video, we're going to show you how to install the virtual machine in your personal computer. For that, we need three things. First, the file teleco-n.ova containing the machine, then version 4.0.12 of VirtualBox, and then an extension pack. The objective is to prepare the virtual machine to execute in your personal computer. If we go to the VirtualBox download page, we can see how we can download the virtualizing software there in the example for the Windows platform, and at another link, the extension pack. Both of them need to be downloaded from here. Here we can see the three elements, the application on the left, the virtual machine, and the extension pack. We proceed to execute the virtualization application, and the first thing we do is go to the file menu and select the preferences, and we go all the way down to the last option, extensions. We click on the icon to add a package, and we select the extension pack we previously downloaded. We confirm the installation and we read the conditions all the way to the bottom to agree with them. The system might ask us for an, admi an administration password. Once the extension has been successfully installed, as we can see there, we go back to the main screen and now we select the option of importing an appliance. Again, we need to choose the file we downloaded from the course web page containing the virtual machine and if we proceed with the installation, a summary of the machine that is about to be installed is shown on the screen and the process of importing the machine starts and it takes around two minutes. Once we install the virtual machine, we can see here on the right side of the screen a summary of its configuration. We can start the machine clicking on the start button. A few messages appear telling us how the machine handles the keyboard and once we accept, we see the virtual machine starting or booting up. This is a regular machine. It'll show us a couple of messages telling us that uh, there might be some adjustments we need to make on the screen and after a short while we can see how the machine starts again. We confirm all these messages and a regular desktop appears. The first thing we need to make sure is that the machine has an internet connection clicking on this icon at the bottom and making sure that the option at the top says activated. If it is not the case, we click until the word active is shown, which uh, is telling us that we have an internet connection. The machine has a few applications. Here we can see the browser that contains a couple of links to facilitate the access to the course material as well as the virtual community where we host all the course material. One of the most important things to perform with a virtual machine is a proper shutdown. We need to select the option to turn off the computer and wait for a while until the machine stops all the services that it's running and makes a proper shutdown of all the applications. Once we do that, we can guarantee that we restart the machine correctly from the point where we left it. 